Hi there, my name's Roland Harding. I'm the harbour master at Porlock Weir. Started the job 18 months ago, took over from Brian Debney, who was doing it for about 12 years. But it's a job that's always been in my family. Any memorable moments? Uh, last year, when we came back, we've been on the race at Barry, uh, the yacht race, the channel race. And uh, we came back particularly rough night and uh, anchored off. We had to anchor there for five hours to wait to come into the harbour. Got dark, particularly rough. Um, we were sat there waiting and then suddenly, from nowhere, came a full sailed boat coming down between us and the beach, looking like the Marie Celeste, just shooting down through. And it was a boat whose electrics had completely packed up. He had no idea where he was. And we watched him go past and somebody said, that one's heading for the beach. And within seconds, you could hear a crunch and a smack in amongst the waves. And we all tried to call out the Coast Guard and not one of us could get any radio reception on any of our radios down here. And it was relayed through, shouting back boat to boat until the end one who could just about get radio reception managed to call out the lifeboat. And then at half past one in the morning, we had to go back out again and tow the boat in and bring it in. All the people were completely sick by then. Uh, it's not, not the best of nights, but we get many nights like that. And it's a spot out there where many, many a boat in the, over the years has sunk. You know, they, they tend to come across, don't know the area, anchor at the back there and go to the pub. <laughs> and while they're, while they're in the pub, they're dragging the anchors and by the time they come out, you know, they're usually up on the beach. You know? So over the years, since I was a child, I've countless yachts have sunk out. So, Pitt, have you got a boat? Yes, I've sailed since I was um, six years old. I used to sail with my granddad when I was a little boy. Um, I've always had a boat. Uh, then I was away in the Royal Navy for about 12 years. And when I came back, immediately got a new boat. And the one I've got at the moment, over on the end there, you know, we have regular sailing club uh, races, but we also sail up and down the Bristol Channel, Swansea, Ilfracombe, Porthcawl, Barry, and last weekend we were in Cardiff and had a particularly rough sail back, but wonderful. Wouldn't, wouldn't be without it. Did you go out by yourself? Yeah. Yeah. I, I prefer that, otherwise you've got somebody yakking, yakking in your ears all the yeah. time. <laughs> what about fishing? Fishing, I tried to steer clear off, no, because um, I'm frightened of fish and I don't like them flapping about, and I, <laughs> so I just steer clear of them. I eat them, but that's as far as I get. Yeah. yeah. So what does a harbour master's job entail? Basically, the job of harbour master entails the day-to-day -day running of the harbour, checking the safety of the boats in and out. Uh, they're regularly going fishing in the daytime. Uh, weekends, you've got quite a few visiting yachts come in. It's showing them where to tie up. And then after that, collecting the money off them, which is the main thing. And then making sure they go safely on their way again. And just dealing with odd complaints that arise every now and again but it's a pretty cushy sort of job.